আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমি আব্দুল্লাল নোমান আরবি লেকচারার অফ ফিজিওলজি ডিপার্টমেন্ট বসুন্ধরা আদিন মেডিকেল কলেজ টুডে আই উইল ডিসকাস অ্যাবাউট দ্য অক্সিজেন হিমোগ্লোবিন ডিসোসিয়েশন কার্ভ প্লেস এ স্টার্ট ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্ট ইস এ ভেরি ইন্টারেস্টিং চ্যাপ্টার ইন রেসপাইটারি সিস্টেম অক্সিজেন হিমোগ্লোবিন ডিসোসিয়েশন কার্ভ টুডে আই উইল মেক ইট সিম্প্লিফাই টু ইউ আই উইল ট্রাই ইট মাই লেভেল বেস্ট প্লেস ডিসকাস অক্সিজেন হিমোগ্লোবিন ডিসোসিয়েশন কার্ভ সো ফার্স দ্য ফার্স্ট মে বি দ্য ডেফিনেশন ইট ইস উই হ্যাভ টু ডিসকাস ফার থিংস ডেফিনেশন কনস্ট্রাকশন ক্যারেক্টারিস্টিক্স অ্যান্ড ফ্যাক্টর অ্যাট ফার্স্ট ডেফিনেশন ইটস ভেরি সিম্পল ইটস আ গ্রাফিক্যাল রিপ্রেজেন্টেশন সো ডেফিনেশন উইল গোস টু ইটস আ গ্রাফিক্যাল রিপ্রেজেন্টেশন শোয়িং রিলেশন হুইচ রিলেশন হিমোগ্লোবিন স্যাচুরেশন শোয়িং রিলেশন অফ হিমোগ্লোবিন স্যাচুরেশন of the oxygen and the pressure of oxygen in blood so definition is simple the graphical representation of the hemoglobin uh, saturation and pressure of oxygen of blood is called oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve then go to the construction construction means for the component so in the definition we have see the two components hemoglobin saturation and pressure of oxygen in blood so the component or construction uh, these two things hemoglobin construction uh, hemoglobin saturation and pressure of oxygen in blood so my dear student what do we mean by hemoglobin saturation of oxygen we means the ability of hemoglobin to to saturation by oxygen how it contains we know the hemoglobin bind with contents bind with oxygen so is mean hemoglobin saturation uh, means the ability of the hemoglobin to bind with the oxygen so what's the pressure of oxygen in the blood is the partial pressure of oxygen the more in the oxygen the more of the uh, the more in the content in the blood the pressure will be rise so let's go to the characteristics what's the kite which will be the characteristics of the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve so let's see the picture it's the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve so in this picture we see the first point is it starts from zero is a characteristics also and it's a sigmoid shape this is a main characteristics it is the sigmoid shape and look at the level at 100 level of oxygen when the partial pressure of oxygen at the 100 level it becomes flat it also a characteristics of this oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve and one more things it is reversible so these are the characteristics of hemoglobin dissociation curve now we'll go to the factor before go to the factor i want to share you something that's here the pressure of oxygen of in the blood means partial pressure of the oxygen and hemoglobin saturation look at this the shape is sigmoid shaped but some factor when increase or decrease this shape will changed it may be go to the left and it may be go to the right here we know when it goes to the left and when it goes to the right before go to the factor we have to know the main things that when oxygen affinity to hemoglobin decreases means when the affinity of hemoglobin to oxygen it decreases it becomes goes to left side and more binding oxygen more binding of oxygen to hemoglobin when the hemoglobin capacity increases to bind the bind with the oxygen it goes to left so opposite in vice versa when it will be shift to right the when it decrease the oxygen affinity of hemoglobin so the main things when oxygen hemoglobin when affinity of the oxygen to hemoglobin increases it goes to the left and when the oxygen uh, affinity to hemoglobin decreases it goes to right now we will know the what factors may cause to uh, what factor may cause to increase the oxygen affinity to hemoglobin sorry my dear student here is a little mistake here increase i have told you increase but the sign here is uh, uh, the decrease but it will be increase right 
now we will know what's the factor increases increases oxygen affinity the factors are when when hydrogen level become decreases when partial pressure of oxygen decreases and when partial pressure of carbon dioxide and 2 3 d p g means diphosphoglycerate and some other factor like temperature we see that these factors hydrogen set, uh, hydrogen concentration partial pressure of oxygen partial pressure of carbon dioxide and 2 3 dpg and temperature becomes decreases the increases of oxygen affinity when the increases of oxygen affinity occurs the uh, the uh, uh, oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve shift to left so when it will shift to right the opposite things when this hydrogen concentration partial pressure of oxygen partial pressure of carbon dioxide 2 3 dpg and temperature becomes high it will shift to right and one more things that sometimes it uh, when uh, it is very important in mcq so we have to identify something sometimes the question uh, becomes uh, uh, can be asked like that if ph if ph become high what will happen let's see ph if ph becomes high so ph increase means hydrogen concentration will be decrease so we will then understand that the if the hydrogen concentration is decreased it goes to increase oxygen affinity beside this some other factors like stored blood in blood transfusion we give uh, people uh, the stored blood this stored blood causes shifting the dissociation curve into left and uh, some uh, situation which is very important in your mcq like poly uh, cythemia and high altitude the scenario will be like this the uh, a person 44 years old uh, in the uh, lives in the high altitude for a long time what will be the changes so in this type of question we have to think in high altitude uh, in hypoxia this decrease the oxygen of affinity when the decrease the of oxygen affinity to hemoglobin occurs it will shift to the right i think uh, beside this for you my dear student i want to share you some little technique to remember this uh, at this time we have understand the all things but now in for exam we have to Oh, remember some technique see all things are decreases if all things are decreases increases the oxygen affinity and it goes to the left shift of the curve so in exam hall if you can't remember anything remember the things that when decreases in most probable cases it will be left shift there is some others uh, example also but we can remember in this way uh, that's all uh, for today, my dear student. I, I have tried my best to make it simple to you. And uh, please go through Gaiton for more, your, more information. Uh, thank you so much.